I like to make my own painted papers that I use for my marker drawings and for mono printing and collaging. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I like to make papers that go together, so I do that by creating different values of one color. This will give you a nice selection of papers that work well together. One thing I love to do is to draw in these papers with paint markers. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples of this and hopefully get you excited to try this because I'm planning a video in the very new near future that will show you lots of um, ways to use paint markers on painted papers. The other thing I use these papers for is mono printing. I have a video on acrylic paint mono printing if you want to check that out. Here you can see where I combined both of those techniques. Here is an example from my video, how to make texture with plastic wrap. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out. Here I did a marker drawing and then I mono printed over it. So you can see the possibilities are endless. I love to collage with these papers and here's just a simple example. So the reason I make my own painted papers because the markers I like to use are an oil-based paint marker and they really don't work great on colored paper. The reason being the oil-based marker kind of bleeds into the paper or disappears into the paper. So I'm gonna show you, how, um, demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So this is a kind of dried up marker, so I'm pressing it down to get the ink to come out and it just sort of gets very faded on the black paper. Now I'll show you what the same marker does on acrylic painted paper. You can see it draws just much smoother and the result is much brighter. I'll show you that again with the pink marker. And this is how they look side by side. So the same thing can happen on painted papers if your paint is too thin. And the way you can tell here that I've used the paint too thin is that it bled through to the back side. This could be something that you like and maybe you would try to do intentionally with using thick and thin paint, it will give you a two-tone marker drawing. Okay, so now we have to talk about paint. You can use an inexpensive economy paint um, in a liquid form. This is a Blick brand. I used to work with kids a lot and I would buy this in the big half gallon or in the quart size. This is another brand that's very inexpensive, meant for teachers but the pigments will not be as bright in these inexpensive economy paints. So if you really wanna do fine art with these techniques, I suggest golden fluid acrylics. They'll have beautiful colors. They are expensive, so just be warned. So if you're just getting um, started, you can go the economy route. You'll need a couple plastic containers to mix colors in. And my favorite brush is a wide sponge brush. Some other tools I might be using are the squeegee, different large brushes. This is called a wide color shaper. A huge wide brush that I got on sale. Some combs for scratching through the paint surface. And one last supply is a squirt bottle filled with water. The paper I'm using is 80 pound drawing paper. You could use a heavier watercolor paper, but I really like the weight of the drawing paper. It works well for collage and lots of other projects. I'm starting out with this economy paint, so it doesn't need a lot of water mixed into it.
I always paint all the way to the edges of the paper. That's why I tape my paper down to the tablecloth. You'll want to prepare a place to put these paintings while they dry. So I like to just, you know, throw another paint tarp or tablecloth on the floor that you have a place ready because you're going to have a lot of wet paintings. I take another plastic container and pour half of the paint in there. So I'm going to mix white with one of them to make what's called a tint. I teach painting, so I just have to tell you this terminology. When you mix white in, you're creating a tint. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this wide color shaper to spread the paint around. Um, I wish I would have mixed it a little better and I wouldn't have gotten those white streaks because this color shaper works kind of nice because you don't get any brush strokes. Now I'm gonna take the other container of blue and mix it with black. This creates what's called a tone, which is a darker, duller version. I'm gonna go ahead and paint a couple pieces of paper in this dark value because you're gonna see me layer over it in another technique. This is dry and I did squirt it with the squirt bottle, but it didn't really do that much. Um, so I'm gonna go over it with this light color and use the comb to scratch through while the paint is still wet. This paint here has water already added to it because I've been trying to use up this half gallon for a long time. So I'm just mixing it on palette paper with a palette knife. I decided to give my big brush a try. Um, I think it would work better on even bigger paper. I'm getting ready to use my squeegee, so I apply the paint right on the paper. I have a video all about this called Scrape Painting that you can check out, but I just thought I would wanted to have some fun with these values next to each other. So I have the magenta paint, then I have the version of it mixed with black, and then I have pure black. Then I did something a little different here because I didn't mix the pure red with white. I took the value that had some black in it and I mixed white with that. So I'm getting a toned down tint, I guess you could call it. I think I should have washed my brush or grabbed a new brush. My brush had black in it. So you get 
I got some dark streaks that I wasn't too happy with. But other than that, it's a kind of cool color. So here's all the papers I ended up with in this one painting session. You can create a subtle speckle technique by squirting the water from the squirt bottle on the paint while it's wet. If the paint is too dry, it doesn't work that great. So that's what's going on here. I'll show you up close. You can see a better demonstration of this in the beginning of my video, Acrylic Paint Textures Made with Plastic Wrap. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.